news coming in. The Kraken has been attacking the ring station that has been trying to get into orbit. We are praying for the crew that are on board. Hello guys, I'm Orbeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest. Series 2, Part 27, Rocket SSTO, SSTO Ringish Stage Space Station. <laughs> I can't get it out. And yes, this is a Rocket SSTO. Single stage to launch, single stage to orbit. Hmm, and let's try a bit of different music. I think I'll mix the music up. Don't worry, the Caspi music will be with us shortly. As you can see here, this launch took a bit uh, working out. However, I worked out that you have to do a slow gravity turn for this one, and I done all this launch manually. But let's skip ahead to some, uh, uh, well, oh yes, <laughs> this goes really fast. You don't realize how fast the actual rocket is going when you're playing this game, because you're staying with it and the ground looks like it's moving really slowly. However, these are traveling extremely fast. You know, one kilometer per second thing, that boggles the mind. Considering that your cars only go, was it 100 kilometers per hour? That uh, is really slow. Anyway, let's get this ring station up into orbit. As you said, it's a single stage to launch, single stage to orbit. However, also, this is a return and landing. Yes, I've seen a couple of YouTubers doing it, so no, I'm not trying to copy them because they're not the first. I think SpaceX are the first to do this, except for Scott Manley. He'd done his reusable space program, but that was before Deadly Reentry was stock part of the game, and now it is stock part of the game. So, yes, let's see if this big behemoth of a rocket will survive. And you may notice I've got those. Or was it Rhino engines on the outside? No, they're not Rhino engines. I can't remember what they're called. They're part of the KW Rocketry pack. Uh, but in the center, I've got... Yeah, that's the Rhino engine. That's the space sort of rated engine. And, uh, oh, balls. <laughs> Things don't go right. The ring split in half, if you can call it a ring, causing a Kessler effect. All the other space satellites and uh, Kerbals and space stations and everything else will now come crashing down after <laughs> after all the debris spreads across Kirby. And I don't know why that scene stayed up a bit longer. I'm not sure if it'll come out on the end of rendering. But anyway, in any case, this time I decide to find out what happens after it explodes several times. So recording it, and you see the wobbling going on there? The Kraken attacks. Okay, a good thing to do here is if you press F3, it tells you exactly what happens. Now, if you look at the top one, if we go back to the top one, the SB2 LTF fails. And I decide, well, let's, I F5'd it, so I'll do a quick load and try again. And this time put the structural parts uh, survivable. Um, it reinforces the joint so it doesn't explode like <laughs> like it's seen by here. However, the Kraken still tries to tear it apart. Ah, oh, damn the Kraken. I know you could consider this cheating, but this was... We know that was the Kraken that was destroying our rocket. So I thought I'd give her a go. Ah, oh, well. Okay, so it's not going to survive this way. And I slowing this down, this video down quite a bit. Oh, and by the way, you see the flybys I'm doing. I'm using the camera tools, and they're not good. You can see by here we get a bit of juddering. I'm trying to work out what the juddering is caused by. Some people are saying it's because uh, mod files are dumping everything and causing problems with the game. And this is a big station. I've got load of parts there to create the ring. And it's just a basic ring. And I forgot to put a probe core on the ring station itself. So that means I have to get the Kerbal out. And who have we got here? We have Silver Warrior Kerman, who has to be a Kerbal on this mission. And he has to go out and extend everything. Like, I think Meg Jeb actually extended the solar panels automatically. But he has to open up the radiators that it is. Anyway. Also, when I do these videos, I read out comments, and I can't work out how to get rid of the shroud. Damn, I'm blasted. Anyway, first comment from Night Queen Queen. First, from Morgan Plumstead. Second, and also, Kerbal Captain Cyclonus Kerman, male pilot. <laughs> he emphasized male. Yes, because in one live stream he has to be a sexy Kerbal, so I made him a girl. <laughs> 
Anyway, you can see by here how I fixed it. What was happening was that fuel tank in between the sections of the ring that was clipping into the parts. It was intentional. I used that part to be able to uh, put the ring parts together. However, it was causing problems. The Kraken did not like it and decided to tear it apart. Anyway, let's go for the descent. And I decided rather than doing this like most of the other uh, YouTubers and record this and if I record the best landing ever okay some of them probably didn't some of them probably already experimented into this but I thought I'd record all my failures at the same time and yes there were a couple of failures so I it took quite a while in fact trying to learn how to do this you have to do it by trial and error there's no other way Alright, anyway, let's get back to the comments as we are flying past the ring station and getting a screenshot at the same time. Let's, uh, was it? Honzolf, 74 videos. Orbiter, you're the best KSP player on YouTube. No debatable. However, he says, but can you do more tutorials, please? Yes, I am. I'm doing the uh, basics to the advanced tutorials. You probably have seen them online. <laughs> I'm not sure how good they're going to come down because I am still trying to work out the best way to do a tutorial. Even though my older tutorials I've done. It's been a while since I've done proper tutorial again. Alright, 4.5 comments, now 3 likes. This is from Beastman2875. Love your vids, and I want to be a Kerbal net again. I think you are. Next time you should bring an asteroid from another solar system. Uh, that's going to be hard. And bring it back to Kerbin. Study asteroids from far away is better than studying ones that are close up. No, studying the ones that are close up is good because you can work out how the solar system was made and that's what we're trying to do in the NASA scene in real life yes quite interesting science going on there right silver warrior I'm not first no you're not but I missed I'm I'm first to admit it yes <laughs> anyway this is the first landing we tried to do I've, I quickly got hyper up because I thought we ran out of electricity because mech Jeb was stopping us from using the rocket engine I didn't realize at this point it's only when we slow down enough that we could deploy the parachutes and then fire the rockets. Obviously, at that time, it was too late to land on land. So I decided, let's see if we can land in the ocean safely. Okay, throttle. Come on, land slowly, come down. Uh, those rocket engines are, I think, are rated at 7 meters per second. Impact. Okay, draw and yeah, no, nope, we messed her up. Oh, the parachutes and that survived. Yeah, we could reuse them. <laughs> anyway, from Ibra Squid, Spider Man. Uh, yeah, Kerbal Spider Man. Spider Man has already been added in the last episode. Math Matthew Baha. Kerbal, can my name be McPurty Pants Kerman? Yes, why not? John Burns, what mods do you have you installed? Hopefully I'll remember to put them in the description this time. Anyway, back to the video. You can see here, we missed the land again. But this time, let's see if we can survive this. I remember I was trying to burn to get close to the land. However, we used all the fuel up. What I have to do this time, and I think it works. Does it work? We'll find out. I burned a little earlier, well, before we entered the atmosphere, to get the closer approach to Kerbin and make sure we enter land this time. Alright, Jam and Chips, Kerbal again. Yes, no problem. C... C296 Gaming, Kerbal, yes. Sang Game, Sang Gaming, yes, Kerbal. Z Diamond Hunter. Hi, Orbiter, sorry if you answered this already, but what? When are you doing the next tutorials? Thanks. Well, I'm doing them as soon as I can, and yes, the next one's going to be landing the man. Mark Hog Horwood, Kerbal, yes. Christian Wing Wingoshting. <laughs> hey, Orbiter. The Kerbal Quest series is all just fun to watch. By the way, is Kerbal Heavy Metal still around? Well, you might find him sooner than you think. As a mission idea, how does Build a Martian... Martian a space dock and assembly a space station around in Kerbin orbit sound. I'll maintain the space dock center, Martian. Oh, and for elite, if you are in abandoned hunting, 
I can give you a location of a nice system to gain money fast. Yeah, we'll be doing a live stream of Elite this Sunday. So look out for that. Alan Scott, Kerbal, yes. Play Pixel, Kerbal, yes. By the way, thanks for teaching me how to build, build a space station. Mike Shore. Believe me, Mark, your accent is definitely Welsh. And I try to overemphasize it. I have to work on my voice a bit doing these. And it's strong to be proud of it, buddy. Yes, I shall. Anyway, Akrof Lock Venzer. Wait a minute, we're coming in for landing. But however, we still we only got 35 meters per second. No, come on, slow and ooh, we just ran out of rocket fuel. Otherwise we gone hurtling up and falling over. But we did it! Yes! Success! The Kerbal Quest has survived its first landing of a reusable rocket. Awesome stuff. Anyway, I was going to do this a bit more in depth, so do multiple launches, but I didn't have the time. However, going back to the comment, Acroflock Vendor. Well, if you really do want a mission idea, then you've come to the right place. Paper shuffling can be heard. It says here that you want a single mission launch idea. Wait, you tell me there's non-single mi launch missions? Well, that just sounds impractical. And what I meant by single launch was uh, SSTO, single stage to orbit. Perhaps that's what I should have said. Anyway, our contractors tell us we need to send a close orbit probe around EVE to make an atmosphere station. Supposing some sort of blimp or zeppelin, it sees, says here that Jay will reward us with something. But it's in Kerbal Letters. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to write Kerbal in Kerbal Letters. Anyway, Sang Gaming, there you go. You have your Kerbal and your helmet won't come off. Damn. Anyway, Akrof goes on to say, I'm not sure that they know what they put here. They either sounds worth it, what's the worst that could happen? Anyway, we just missed KC926 Gaming or something like that. Anyway, you saw it on the screen. Jam and chips. Yes, a perfect combination of foods. Hmm. Well, if you're a Kerbal. Marcus Kerman, with a K, not a C. <laughs> MB Pretty Pants Kerman? Yes, what an awesome name. We have Heavy Metal Kerman, who came back from another solar system. Back to the KSC, just in time to do the ring station mission. Great on you, buddy. Alan Kerman. I think he's a DIY Kerbal, and that is why he's an engineer. Anything you need plumbing problems on your space station, he's the one to call. Captain Cyclonus Kerman. Yes, he's a captain. He's also an awesome engineer. <laughs> I think I decided to fly him through the ring station here. Hopefully his head didn't butt anything. Yes, cool. Silver Warrior. He is a warrior by nature, but an engineer by heart. And 100% fresh Kerbal. Those are the Kerbals for this mission. This ring station was brought to you by a, a rocket SSTO and orbiter your engineer. Now let's film this station as the sun rises over the horizon. So that I can give you time to crank that like button like an engineer. Subscribe if you're not. And then if you do ask, want to be Kerbal, don't forget to write Kerbal in Kerbal letters in the comments. Spell it right please because I filter out by that spelling. And I'm Orbiter, trust me, I'm an engineer. And that ring station is not completely round, is it? No, it's an oval.